We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. Good morning, YouTube. All right, so first chilly morning of the year and we're out here all alone. It's actually a new airplane. That wasn't here before. It's gorgeous. Um, light winds scheduled all day. I'm here a little bit after sunrise, sunrise. And um, I'm gonna try to do an XC out to my parents' house. So my parents moved here like down to South Carolina, maybe. It's, it's been within a year, I, I believe. And um, they live actually 14 miles from this airport. So that's a decent a decent XC for the day. Um, and the winds are perfect. I'll be going into the wind on the way out there. Only issue with flying this time of year in South Carolina is hunting season starts at, uh, on August 1st, which is sweet if you're a hunter, but if you're a paramotor pilot, it's kind of a bummer because you can't really drop in fields. I mean, you still can legally and everything, but it's um, I just don't do it because um, you could piss off some hunters. So, um, yeah, gotta stay high today. So, perfect day for an XC. We'll go up there, find something to talk about, and um, see you guys when we're getting ready to launch. Peace. Check this out, too. Got a new helmet. Yeah, I actually just built this last night, so today's gonna be a test of that. But yeah, it's just like a snowboarding helmet, and then I took the guts out of my old helmet and put it into this one, so. Some small minor improvements when I did that, but for the most part, it's the same setup. Um, just looks a lot cleaner, um, and it's way more comfortable. The inside of this snowboarding helmet's like nice and soft. Um, yeah, so, and I like the way it looks better too. That orange was so, I don't know, too bright. I think the white looks sexy with the green ear cups and everything else black and a little blue on there. Looks good. Try this out today too. Let's get in the air. It, but my launches have been great lately. I was in a funk like earlier this year and it was totally mental. But I would launch like every time I went out there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fail this launch. And it's, it's totally like BS because this, this wing launches so easily. I've launched hundreds of times and I would just get in my head about it and I would do stupid things like overcorrect when I'm ground handling or taxiing or I would not take my time on the ground setting up for some reason. It's just like, and all that would get in my head. And I was messing up launches and I've been flying for like five years pretty regularly. But it just never, I don't know. It, you're never above it, I guess, I don't know. But I haven't had a bad launch in quite a while, so I'm jinxing it now, I'm sure, but. All right, so I forgot to set up my GPS on the ground, but. I know I gotta fly west. I should have put this in PPGPS. Oh no. <laughs> it's telling me to calibrate my phone. This is the literal worst place to calibrate your comp phone compass. No! Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pick a look. Oh, Jesus, no. Usually you'd pick something like a landmark on the horizon or something to fly to but as you guys know South Carolina is nothing but trees so there's nothing to look at all right so yeah no real plan today I figured I'd make this like a catch-up vlog not catch up like catch up with mustard catch up like I haven't vlogged in a while I've been making like little videos where I do an intro and then I kind of put a highlight reel together and then an outro so this is just like a wrap-up so Things have been have happened recently. We're still in the middle of, not the middle, hopefully the end of the COVID thing. Um, actually, the work, 
uh, comments where I work is just coming off of our reduced work hours. So the entire company took a 20% pay cut and um, that just came with only working four days a week. So it, I consider myself one of the lucky ones, right? I got to keep my job and uh, basically just got Fridays off. So it wasn't too bad. This Friday, today's Thursday, so tomorrow is the last day of that. So I get my 20% back next week and then we'll see how things go. Um, I don't think they're gonna go back to normal. I've been working from home since March and we've been told that at least we'll be working from home until January. So um, again, I'm not complaining about that. I am a thousand times more productive working from home. Uh, and I actually got promoted right before COVID hit. So I got promoted and went to the Palm Bay fly-in and then that's when all the shit hit while we were there and I never went back to work. So I literally said, yeah, I'm going on vacation. You know, thanks for the promotion. Uh, and then I never went back to work. So I learned my new role from home, my home office. And um, it's been going well. So, I mean, that's like the ultimate challenge, right? Learning a completely new role by yourself at home. I mean, we got Zoom and all that, but uh, it's been going well. So I don't ever see a reason that I should have to go back into that office. I mean, there's some days I need to be in the plant to address things or do run tests, things like that. But for the majority of it, working from home is a thousand times better. I get to see my kids in the morning. You know, I get to see them off. They go to the gym with my wife and do the daycare there. Then I... You know, I'm at work in two seconds. I just walk upstairs and I'm working. And then I, you know, if I have a 10 minute break, I'm not talking to other employees. I'm like, I don't know, vacuuming or cleaning or I, oh, I want to do this. You know, you know, working on a YouTube video or something like that. I can be back and forth doing a thousand different things and still being as productive or more productive at work than I was having to go into the office. And I don't have to drive. I have no traffic. I'm saving money and gas. I'm saving my mind because I people here are drive like crazy especially in the mornings like everyone's in a rush to get to work I don't get it but I don't know man my life has been has has almost been better I mean I this whole COVID thing I'm not it's it's horrible right but I think it's opened a lot of companies eyes and I think Cummins is one of them and they're gonna realize that look maybe we don't need everybody in the office consuming resources when they could be working at home um, I don't know how everyone else feels about that but those are my thoughts on it um, so yeah, we're coming up on my first landmark that came up quicker than I thought, and uh, I'm just gonna keep heading or maintaining this heading. Um, and I'm in no rush. I got a full tank. My parents are total bums, so I'm just joking, Ma and Dale. But uh, they sleep in late, so they're not even up yet. I'm sure that I'm gonna be waking them up when I fly over their house. And I don't have too much battery left, so I will catch back up with you guys in a little while here when I get a little bit closer. I. Right. Bye. their property but this is so foreign to me this whole area I am not familiar with this I've never flown out here but this is route 61 right below me so this is the road I take to my parents house every time I drive there so route 95 61 six miles and their house is on the right so it's so hard to <laughs> try to recognize landmarks when all you're used to is driving and there's a lot of trees 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 so maybe it's up here a little ways I keep thinking I'm right, I might be right over it. I don't know what color their roof is. It's black? I don't know. Also, I'm using PPGPS, and I don't know exactly where their house is on the map, so I just estimated. So, I'm gonna use Google Maps. Okay, yeah, so it's up there a little ways. I can see my mom's cell phone location. And uh, they're still not awake. <laughs> Good, I'm gonna rip over their house and wake them up. I don't see their house, man. Wait, I see it! Ha! Yes! I see their house. <laughs> That's so cool. 
So I'm looking out way out here because when you're high up, it's hard to judge like lateral distance, but they're literally right underneath me. Like if I went off power, I would overshoot them right now. Ha! <laughs> I'm so excited. They're sleeping. That's so awesome. <laughs> Wake up, ma. Bums. What time is it? Got to be 8 o'clock. I don't know why I'm getting so much enjoyment out of this, but... I am! Woo! Alright, don't want to get too low out here, man. Gotta keep those bail outs. I can't get too low over their house either, man, because there's nowhere to go. Man, I actually, I don't think I could land there. <laughs> I'd have to hook it hard. Dude, we need to chop down these trees in the middle here. Open up this yard. They got 18 and a half acres here. Plenty of room to uh, make a nice LZ. Yo, ma! All right, let's wake them up. through my own wake here. <laughs> That's gotta wake him up. Come on, wake up. I actually built that garage. 1,500 square foot. Bums. Well, I don't think they're coming outside. Man, there's a nice, there's like a layer right here where all the bumps stop and it gets really warm. It's nice. Hang out here for a minute. Alright. I'll get some altitude and I'm going to call her real quick. Neighbors are out. <laughs> Whoop the neighbors up. <laughs> Sorry. Be mad at me. Let's see if my mom picks up. <laughs> She's not picking up. Oh ma. Well, I tried guys. But alas it did not work. Good thing is I got a hell of a tailwind on the way home now. You start feeling your wing bump around, it gets colder, it's like boom, right there. And then underneath that, it's all like swirly, and the tailwind goes away completely. So I predict it'll be calm on the ground, and that's what that swirliness is. It's calm on the ground, 14 miles up here. You've got those layers, you know, over, over the top of one another, and you get all that swirly air underneath. So this is such a great airport for flying PPG. It's like 30 minutes from my house. There's never anybody here. It's pretty cool. A couple people that keep the airplanes in the hangar down there, and we're friends with them, so it's a really nice, really nice place to, place to fly. Never mind, it is a little bit windy down there. That's okay. That'll make landing nice and easy. Let's get down there, punch through this nastiness. Very 
very nice. Well, that went just about as well as it could go. It would have been cool if they were awake to see it, but whatever i'm gonna head over there anyways and see how they're doing so yeah thanks for watching upcoming videos i owe you guys the 50 hour review for the pluma um so i got 50 hours on it now got a pretty good uh feeling for it and um, i'm gonna go over my likes dislikes i'll compare it to the scout because you guys want to see that go over the exo throttle which is a unique throttle that's on this uh paramotor that i'm flying and then um, go over maintenance items. So any of the maintenance that I've had to do or things that have broken since I've had it in the first 50 hours. So I'm gonna be working on that video. And um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.